What's going on, guys? My name is Ace. This is Gaming Revolutions bringing you today. Um, El Generico has been unmasked by the WWE. So, we all know who El Generico is, and we all know what he can do in the ring. Now, when, the, when El Generico got signed by the WWE, he was at NXT because there was a picture showing him next to Brodus Clay with his mask. There, I was like, okay, they're going to keep his mask. And, you know, they're going to continue with this gimmick. But then, to today, there's a picture that surfaced of El Generico without his mask at an FCW taping. Now, what the fuck? You know, um, everybody, anybody that likes the indies, whether you're, you know, every citizen from, you know, the former THQ person, now, I mean, THQ person, THQ community manager that now works with 2K or your Smalls 99, you're an indie guy and you know that, El Generico's mask made El Generico. Well, you know, benef it benefited him. Now, the fact that he lost his mask, number one, in my case, what are they going to do when most likely they release him? That's what WWE tends to do. They sign people that have pops so nobody else signs them. They keep them, and then they release them. And what's he going to do, go back into the indies? To me, it won't be the same, you know, seeing him without his mask on tele on television and then him going back to the indies with his mask on. It just won't make any sense. His gimmick that he had in the indies will be killed at that point. Now, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think it was a retarded move by WWE to remove El Generico's signature mask? You let me know in the comment section. I, I want to get a conversation going up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more content, hit leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and leave a like if you just don't agree with WWE's decisions nowadays. And so then, my name is Ace. This is Gaming Revolutions. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace, peace. Yeah, peace. Yeah.